What's up, Libra? My name is Lisa. Okay, staying optimistic about your love life. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yeah, trusting. Okay, very soon something is going to happen. A big shift, I feel like. Well, it's not going to be as big for everybody, but it's... That's what I just heard. It's like clarity, some sort of awareness. Yeah, you're going to be talking with somebody. You want to talk with somebody. I feel like you're about to reveal this to somebody. Yeah. See, you're freeing yourself of... You are finally accepting, Libra, that you deserve that great love. I'm hearing happy, joyous, and free. Okay? So... But this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It is general, so if it doesn't resonate, check your other signs. If I say it's you, it could be the person that you're connecting to instead. So vice versa. And even if I say he, it could be a she, blah, 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 because energy is fluid. All right. So three cards for Libra for the month of December, please. Three cards for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Venus, heart to heart conversation. So definitely wanting to talk or somebody wants to talk to you being asked to have an open mind here. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So there you go. So you may be being approached like, I feel like for a lot of you, it's new love. Okay. Um, so this person may be somebody that you normally wouldn't be attracted to. Or it's just somebody that maybe you were done with, I'm hearing. And um, there has to be a conversation to see if they've really changed or something like that. If they are who they say they are. That's what, it, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. All right. Two more cards for Libra. Yeah, love yourself first. This is what you're doing. This is why you're leaving that unrequited love behind you. Okay, this is why you want to talk. This is why you're being maybe a little bit skeptical too of who's approaching you and offering love. This is why you want to find out if they're really who they say they are. Okay, because maybe I feel like there's like a sense of it's too good to be true, but it's not. Yeah, Libras want to do the right thing. There's no more like playing games anymore. Okay. They want someone, they want to love themselves and they want someone that's going to love them as well. It's like equal give and take. Libra's looking for balance, which makes sense because that's what you're all about. So very soon, I do feel that somebody's coming into your life or maybe this is just a an adjustment in your current relationship. I don't know. It's, it's general, so it's going to affect you all differently. So, all right, one more card here for Libra. One more card here for Libra. Yeah, give your relationship a chance and trust. So for those of you where there's like somebody coming back into your life or you're meeting someone who's not normally your type, maybe somebody's approaching you, it's you're being asked to give your relationship a chance, okay? Or you want whoever you're approaching to give you a chance because, um, yeah, take a chance on love. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance on me, that song. All right. Your main focus here is um, loving yourself first. Whatever, whatever the case is, is you, you no longer want to be sneaky. You no longer like no more lies. That's no more deception. All right. Let me see. That's why you want to know, um, have this conversation first before you make any kind of decision to move forward because you need to know if this person really is who they say they are. So give me a couple of more cards here for Libra, please. Clarify this love yourself first. Yeah, King, king of Cups. See, because this is you in control of your emotions. You know, even this king is like, looking like very skeptical. It's like, you know, I feel like you have love for somebody because the King of Cups is someone that is in love. Okay. But, but this King wants to have a conversation. Okay. It could be with, um, a fire sign, 
but this could just be you, Libra, getting in control of your um, passions. I do feel like you want to um, embrace whomever it is that you're going to have a conversation, but you're proceeding with caution. It's like you're no longer rushing into, or you don't want to rush into things because whatever you've learned, whatever you've come out of, because I feel like Libras, you've been going through some shit, you know? Yeah, because see, look at this ten of fire. But you've learned to manage it and live and cope within these burdens that have just kind of been following you around, I feel. This is why you want to talk first. Yeah. See, something's been off balance. This is what the conversation needs to be about, about bringing in balance into this, this relationship, into this situation. Before you can give this relationship a chance, you're willing, but you want to know, yeah, see? But before there's been like no compromise. Seven of Swords, Six of Wands. Okay, so maybe you used to think that this relationship, whatever you're going back to, or was hopeless. Like there was no way. So you both kind of like turned your backs on each other or went separate ways. Okay, but this is the Six of Wands. It's like, this is saying, there's a, that's a victory card, all right? This is like moving on towards victory. Yeah, four of swords. You've been resting, but look, there's the ace of wands. That's the new beginning, the passion. I feel like passion really drives this connection. It may have been what drove it in the past, got it started. But you're being guided to um, give this relationship a chance. Like, don't deny yourself the opportunity. It, Whatever this is, whomever this is with, um... I feel like you want to talk to them. They might not know they that you want to talk to them. Because like I said, I feel like um, maybe there was like some hidden emotions here. There was, no, there was like lack of communication before. But I'm being guided to tell you not to um, deny the opportunity here that's being presented in regards to this connection. Yeah. All right. Get some advice here. I'll get some advice here for Libra. Love heals fear. Yeah. Talk it out. The power of your love can help bullies and angry people be less afraid. Because that's what I mean. It's like there's something. Yeah, look. And laughter wants to come out. So I definitely feel like maybe there's a... Um, you start off as friends. You get to know each other. But maybe you were resistant or this person was resistant to you just because of whatever this was. There was like something that you were like denying the relationship because for whatever reason you thought it was impossible to be worked out. But that was just fear getting in the way because the love was so intense. And that's why you want to have this conversation. It makes sense now with the whole, um, what was coming through about, is this person really who they say they are? Because it's like somebody's mind was playing tricks on them. Yeah, look, talk about your feelings. You know, talk about how you feel uncomfortable or, yeah, and then wish upon a star, Libra. See, I feel like this is the real deal. Holy field. Let go of stress. Because you feel a little guarded and a little intense, Libra. <laughs> and as I say that, look what's at the bottom of the, the deck. Is relax. Everything is okay. Don't worry. It's all going to be fine. Okay, one more card here for Libra. It's okay to be different. Yeah, because I do feel like there's something about this connection that may be a little, I heard, left of center. So, um. You don't need to be like everyone else. You're perfect just as you are. So, yeah, don't be afraid of how big your love is for this person. You know, even if this person 
because there's something, you know, have your conversation, talk about what, you know, your, your insecurity within this connection. And, um, but you're also being guided to have happy thoughts, to feel happier right now. Think about a memory or something else that makes you smile and true. Yes, what you're asking about is the truth. This person really loves you. One step at a time. Lots of little steps make big dreams come true. Yeah, because I feel like there was something within this connection where you guys like just didn't think that it could work. Like it's almost like you just kind of gave up. You might have even walked away from it in the past. And this is why this reconciliation is coming. It it could be floating in your you know, it's just around you like you're you're thinking about it. Okay, but um, I am being guided to tell you to give this relationship a chance. It says lots of little steps make big dreams come true. So you just take it one step at a time. You don't have to rush for, for no one. All right? You can move at your own pace. And if this person isn't okay with that, well, that's not your fault. That's not your problem. But it looks really good, you know. Trust Libra. Yeah, look, this is going to happen very soon. See, deception. I feel it. the deception is, is that you've been denying. It could have been a, a third-party situation at some point, but um, I, I don't feel third-party anymore, so I do feel like something's ended. But there is some sort of connection that's coming back together, so... And it says this could be the one, yeah, and passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. But, you know, maybe you're a little hesitant to do that at first, and that's why you need to have this conversation and just take it that one step at a time. Keep your thoughts, like, happy, and I feel like it's going to be all good, you know? Dare to dream, Libra. That's what I feel. Like, dare to dream and just go get it. Go get your life, man. <laughs> all right, I love you. Um, happy holidays and I will see you in 2020. Bye.